Okay, we have a message here from who do we have a message from? Who do we have a message from? Okay, Tiffany says squeeze me. Really fun. <laughs> Anyways, it says hi Mark, I don't want to hijack thread, so I thought I would just PM you. You can give me a clue about what you're talking about and the squeeze function in liquefy. I started playing with liquefy, but I couldn't figure out that, that one out. Help. Thanks so much for your time. Okay, well, Tiffany, thank you for uh, taking time to read my post, and now we're gonna go and show you what I mean by the fucker too. Okay, so we're gonna go and open up an image. Actually, we're gonna go and start from scratch here. scratch and to, to just see what the initial image is that's what it looks like okay straight from the camera and an email to the back there okay and I'm gonna go and zoom it in okay really close so you can see what we're talking about okay so the thread was about or there was a topic on the thread about the iris of the eyes uh, whatever it is the colored part of it um, okay so here's what pretty much I meant by the squeeze um, it turns out that it's not really a squeeze, but um, the pucker to it. But either way, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how this works. And here's what we're going to do now. Okay, so I added a layer just so that we have an original base layer of complete dead touch, as you know we always do. And we're going to go ahead and with this layer up, we're going to go to filter, liquefy. Ooh, that's a big nostril. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and go for the eye. I'm going to go and zoom it out a little bit. I don't know, maybe not. Yeah. Okay. So the key here is um, pretty much just get a good, pretty good sample of an eye that you want to go and work on. And we're going to go ahead and select the pucker tool. Okay, so you're going to want to have your brush okay, a little bigger than the black part of it, which is, um, what is it, the cornea, I guess? Okay. And what we're, gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to shrink that so that we have more of the um, colored portion of the eyeball here, which is the iris. Okay, so this is how it looks. Just go ahead and lightly and bring it in. Okay, and that effectively shrinks the black portion of the eye, which is, I guess, the, um, <laughs> the cornea. Okay, and then I'm just gonna work on the other eye. Shrink, 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 shrink. shrink. There we go. Hit OK. It's going to process for a while. Now, depending on your computer and the file size that we're working on, um, it should, you know, vary on times. By the way, I'm using a Fuji S3 camera set to 6 megapixels on the high dynamic range. Okay. And I hope the color is coming out as good on this recording as it would be on a calibrated monitor. Okay. So that's after. That's before. After. Before. We're going to go ahead and add a little bit of more color and just bump it up a little bit. Okay. Control R. So go ahead and um, invert that selection or invert the, the change. And with, with our brush, we're going to go ahead and ink a little bit of light in there. Okay. By the way, by all means, this is not a eye retouching tutorial just because I'm not really that gifted with eyes just yet or have the patience for them. These are just some quick and simple tricks to go ahead and improve eyes uh, with your portraits. Okay, but there are some other levels of, um, of enhancements that are much, much better. Okay, there. There we go. Okay, and when you look at it from afar, it looks good, kind of, sort of. And from this far, it really looks mm, really good. Now, it just depends on your preference and how far or how big or how small you want to take it. But that's pretty much the gist of it. Okay, there we go. All right, and we're gonna add a little bit more color. And we're gonna yeah, add that pucker tool or balance. Yeah, let's make a little bit more balance and color. Okay, it's a little too yellowish here. By the way, I'm still working on Photoshop 7 just because I like it. I don't work on RAW as much because I can get pretty good exposed pictures. Okay, with high JPEG. That's a different story. And that's what it is. After and before. Versa. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. Thank you and good night.